On this case, we're going to leave anyone ready? <laughs> On this case, we're going to leave tooth number one. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit that PSA on 16. Right back in that GP, just like that. We'll go across full copper marking. I go in, I sound that bone, come around the inside of it, just like that, all the way back. Push in while I'm coming forward just slightly. And then we're going to get that little insurance policy out here. Buckle side, second molar. Buckle the third. And right back in that spot, right there. Behind that third molar. And that'll block out your lingual. Bite block on this side. So sequence on his right side will be a little bit different. We're not going to do that top one. Do you want to gouge gates on the upper um, right? So here's my gal gates procedure technique. I get a little hook in that needle, so it's coming across like this. Go right up behind the motor sound bone. Anytime I'm just doing one tooth, I gal gates quite frequently on the bottom. Again, sound bone, come around the medial aspect of that. And full carp of marcane, backing out. Patients that are sedated can't tell you, hey, I'm not numb, but we can see it and we'll be able to watch his reactions. And that's how you'll know if you missed a block. That little insurance policy again, that's done. We'll turn it over to Tiffany to get the sponge in. And anesthesia came over and they're going to help out. So anytime we can see the tooth and it's erupted like that a little bit, I'm going to take the nine and separate that soft tissue off all the way around. When they're infected, they'll bleed. Yeah. Okay. And so Tiffany's going to keep a really close eye on these little particles of that tooth now because you can see that it's breaking. And when I go to the mesial, my favorite instrument, my 46R, come right in there and find a little purchase point. And I'm going to push that tooth right back. Lots of just solid pressure. We don't want rapid pressure, so I want to break it even further. Cassie, Cassie can we give five more teeth? And we've got some soft tissue here we're going to clean up. We can hear it getting stuck in her suction, so we know it's got to come out. Thank you. If they'll give it to me, I'll take it, but I don't get too aggressive on the lingual side, so we know there's a nerve back there somewhere. That looks pretty good. We don't have a tooth on the top right, so once she loses, we'll go straight in with the 4x4. If you have a little soft tissue blade, so if you'll pack it, like Wrap with a string. Yeah, that's a good point. Tiffany's brought up. If you do have a soft tissue bleed back there, Put some 4x4 four four down the side of it before you switch. And just pack it in nice and firm. Good. You notice she tucks that down alongside the patient's tongue. Keep their tongue out of the way and protected. Seal off the airway good. Now Tiffany and I have done this together for many years and the word we have is race car. Um, if anybody here ever says the word race car, that means that the airway is exposed. We chose that word because you're not usually saying it during a regular conversation. So that's our stop word. If Tiffany ever said that word, I'd stop immediately everything I'm doing while they're watching the airway. Again, good firm pressure. That's when I like that little offset 46R. We're getting back into these. You don't have to get too aggressive with it. It's coming out just fine. Go open the meat on the buckle side and put a little pressure back in. And then usually one more little push after that, I'll get it, which it did. It is out. Tiffany's grabbed it. And back in for soft tissue here. A lot of times I'll just wait for that suction to go and see if we can hear it. Nope, we're clean. Anytime a tooth is erupted like this and decayed out, it's unlikely to have much of a follicle. The follicle is more for full bony and path and younger teeth. So we'll turn towards me just a little bit when they're ready. Good. And up top now to separate that soft tissue. Really important on your top teeth that are erupted. You have to separate all the way across the distal of that tooth. If you get soft tissue attachment back there, it rips. And then you've got this big huge sinus exposure. Oh, yeah. Even though that's an erupted tooth, I'm still going to take my Coswell B, get pretty deep on it. And again, I'm pushing up and back at the same time. That tooth's out. Most of the time, she can grab it now. They've already put this instrument in my hand in case you can't. But she got it because she's awesome. 
Winner. Clean that out. And I always feel across the buckle aspect, make sure it's not a sharp point. There's not. So we're out. And that's it. Wait four minutes for a and PRF. And we, <laughs> we beat the PRF machine by four minutes. So now we're hanging out.